Life is a mission, not a competition. What's up, Life is a Mission TV family? What's up, what's up, what's up? Good afternoon, good afternoon. Why, people, may I tell you? Every day you go along, you see some farmer just disturbing news. You know? You, you just wonder if there is ever going to be a brighter future. Especially for the generation we are forward and the generation we are there already. Because, you know, it just seems to me that these youths nowadays is just getting worse and worse. You know, God bless the handful we are look upwards and I look for a brighter future. And I look for just live life and enjoy life while it lasts. This disturbing video, people, with a whole bus load of picnic. You know, I disembark the bus and stuff. And to my understanding, there is a feud, which we know sometimes we do, the, do have this feud, but it get too regular now. We are three, four different school. I go at it violently. Just as though you don't have this again, that the gang, this again, it comes like I saw them carry it in the school. I get to understand that, boy, right now, it, it is so evident that Calabar is the most identified school in the lot because you don't know them of them epaulette and stuff. But I said, involve Mona. I think Campion, Calabar, and the more I make it look as if it's all about woman. That's how the story look like. Because no man no go queens. Me no man teacher they are queens, but no man no go queens. Queens are woman school, and queens factor in the old. You know, look at thing we are going, and there was. So much visible sight of Queen's kids in their uniform coming off the bus also. So I don't know if I bought them book up on the bus and things happen, but people, it is sad. Can you imagine you are at home? You send your well behaved child to school, and after sending your well behaved child to school, something like this is going on because I'm going to one of the school them. Boy and boy see my road and take advantage. People, may I tell you, it wasn't a pretty sight. School has a lift up bicycle. And you know what you know what surprised me? The law enforcement every day I thought this it coming like them eyes just on motorists. Because in a busy thoroughfare that look like somewhere in a half a tree. And you want to tell me, say, it takes so long before you could have seen a police? Come on, man. Because it seems to me in a half a tree, because you see a lot of coastal line now. But what? These line posters, it's like, it's just motorists. As on the ear, I always talk. You understand? Then penetrate. People, I'll go on, you know. The same little boy up here hold him side and him friend hold him side like him no want the syrup run out. And I when him don't get that, me see a little one police come on the scene. I don't know if I can blur it out and make on the ear and make on the see what I go on. But what I go and do now, I go and just play a clippings. What I go and do, I go and just what I go and do now, I go and just play. A audio from one of our main radio station and TV station. I go and play it now, and then at the end of the video, if I can show you the clip, if YouTube now against it, I go and try and blur it out. If them not, you know, if them against it, I might just don't have to. I might don't show it. You understand? But if they allow it to oh, me I go blur it out, you will see, but you won't see clearly. 
because as you know, know syrup around and you know the, the guideline where YouTube is concerned on syrup and not just the syrup but where violent content are concerned. So just listen for this clipping and the, the, the news will give you a little more about the whole thing. All right? Passengers making quick their escape from this coastal bus in half a tree St. Andrew earlier this week. The reason? A squabble between a student from the Mona High and Calabar High Schools in the corporate area. It's alleged that the dispute began over a girl from another school. But what could have ended easily through communication turned into a major fight involving other young men from several other schools, including Campion and Kingston College. Oh, yes, it has Campion. led to at least one school closing its doors for the remainder of the week. In a post to its school app, headmaster of Mona High School, Kevin Jones, said due to the ongoing violence involving students from several corporate area high schools, a decision has been taken to close the school to protect the lives of the students. Mr. Jones says the administration is in contact with the police and will continue to monitor the situation until it is safe for students to return to the physical space. Senior Superintendent Martin Nesbeth is the commanding officer for the St. Andrew Central Division. There's a lot of part of last week it came to our notice about some conflicts within the schools um, and across schools. So we have some intervention processes since then. We saw some escalation of the conflict since early this week into yesterday, especially in the Alpha Tree area, um, transcending further into Spanish Town spaces. That so these you say students the that young. <laughs> traverse. These students heal from Mona, incident involving them on Calabar, regarding students even attached to Queen's High School. And I be a woman, so a woman in my war over. Campion College, Kingston College, and many other schools. So we have a, a serious situation on our hands. SSB Nesbeth says that there will also be increased police presence in the areas frequented by students. The newly formed Beat Officer on Patrol Division that covers many of these places that the students traverse is fully on board. So they have the police in the areas directly around this particular matter today and onwards also to make sure that the conflicts don't escalate. In the meantime, the Mona High principal says he has held discussions with his students involved in the dispute and the general population. Mr. Jones says administrators of the schools are also engaged in developing a coordinated response to the violence. We, we had a meeting yesterday on the phone, a conference call, and that was between... Um, um, Calabar High School Principal, Jamaica College Principal, and of course, uh, and myself. Because I, I understand now that JC is being drawn in it and then Papin wants to get involved as well. Because a lot of these schools, I was told, are sympathetic to Mona High School because our boys were the victims. So, um, uh, we will have further discussion on the, on the entire thing. I'll be making a couple calls today. So you see, Mr. People, you just imagine, me hear about two parents say, now two parents, a taxi man say, are you taking care of him? No. And I say, no, I'm see you. And I say, you know, I go up and eat. I say, no, I'm not going to go there, so I'm go half a tree. I travel cross road because theme school, under school, under school, and I'm not going to get caught up in it. Can you imagine? Because basically, if you go to school, they label you. Them now look for who and who and them in a tassel in you know. If you go to school, you're involved. Sad story. Our parents are gonna feel now, as me say, you send your child, you know, if you go to school, we're not involved in nothing. And because you go to school, we boy from other school and them in a tangle, your child get involved in it. It not look good. And it can't look good. And these things are stem from the generation before them, you know, where it's like three, five, six, seven, eight year old and them, you know, and through the population of this thing, you get so enough. Everybody have it, as me say, you can go to grocery shop go get it for buy. You can get it from John for borrow. You can get John one five hundred dollar and him lend you one. Him no matter what you want, go do with it. You understand? So, them the couple you see it. And over telephone them left school, them now do things too. So them feel like them have this power, because they have defense. 
and them come out come behave like them are big people and then now when bigger people deal with them or bigger man deal with them like big people people stand up and say la look at him do the little school boy look at him at but you don't know you just a pass and see a big giant man son a little school boy but you don't know what the little school boy do and what he do and what he do already but you just see a giant man and you never know said that school boy was a giant over another school boy because he knows that he have the strength and the support from him friend them that make him be a giant over the next little school boy but you see the little school boy uncle or brother or father or whatever come and, and deal with him now you're crying out anyway people wanna do the do like share and subscribe to the channel tell a friend to tell a friend hit the thumbs up and hit the video please to watch the ads as i said i am going to try and see if i can blur out the video so you can get fit you know see it. little action we are going as me say a whole heap of running at it because them go on bad people a whole heap of syrup bicycle at two pants through then kick and all like me watch a kung fu fight you understand student they are grown to the one get you know in a side and syrup a run so if you don't see that video at the end you know say me try to upload it and youtube restrict it so when we just get the raw part here without any video all right yes when you can check out the radio st the tv station locally whether on instagram or youtube probably you will get it there because uh, me don't know sometimes i see some things over youtube on certain i wonder if them have special rights to do it but you as a regular person like when you do it is a problem so i don't know so anyway just do the do i'm out pray for the youths them Right down the bus, you brother. Right down, right down. 